Hey, what's up? Baker here. Short tutorial coming at you with a quick way to reduce the uh, edge warping while you twixer. So if you look at this example really quick, if you look to the right, we got some, uh, see these like black edges and uh, some weird gross warping over there? Yeah. So I'm going to, hold on, let me shut this window. Gardeners, sorry. So we're basically going to virtually eliminate that warping and then it's going to look like this. So of course they're still warping just because it's Twixter, you know, but look at that. There's no black edges uh, warping and uh, it's a quick fix and it's uh, pretty sweet. So check this out. So uh, let's say you have uh, your clip, drag it into a new comp. And I'm just going to trim this down really quick. Um, right about now. Beep. And uh, if you don't know these shortcuts, I'll provide you with a link. I have a tutorial on that. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get some Twixter in here. So make sure your Twixter input frame rate is the same as your comp, 59.94 and uh, should be the same as your clip so 9.94 alright cool so I'm gonna go here or um, I reload in the air or uh, yeah shoot and reload right there so I'm gonna keyframe the speed and move forward a few seconds and set it down to like I don't know 10 I think use like 10 or 5 percent and then right about here I'm gonna push U keyframe the speed and go forward a few frames again and set it back up to 100. So it's going to go 100, tap percent, and back to 100 again. Now you can see we got this, got the black edges still, and that's uh, expected when you uh, use Twixter. So to fix that, go to Layer, Precompose, and leave all the attributes in here. So the Twixter is still here. Now normally when you Twixter, if you've seen my uh, first Twixter tutorial, I recommend you pre-composing it anyway and then leaving the Twixter on the outside. So we'll go in here and it's just that original clip that we had. So what we're going to do here is go to the composition and change the settings. Make sure the uh, aspect ratio is locked and go in here and type star which is times and 1.5 should be good. So now we have a larger comp and we're going to add in motion tile and change the output width to 150 percent and output height 150 percent and mirror the edges so we got this weird kaleidoscope kind of effect but what Twixter will do is instead of sampling from the black edges it will sample from you know what's right next to uh, the edge which is what's already there since you mirrored the edges if that makes sense so now when uh, it's a uh, twig string, right? It'll sample from the uh, the edge that it's already at. So let's see. If I don't have mirror edges, I'll probably get some weird warping again. Yeah, you can, you can't really see it, but I see it. So make sure it's mirrored. Yeah, and motion tile, all that stuff. So now you have no black edges. So quick tutorial, little quick tip. I want to show you that and uh, please rate the video because uh, I'm deciding to keep making tutorials so uh, yeah have fun you guys